Well, hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today is a bit of an unboxing type video for you guys. And this particular item I purchased from hobbyso.com. So I bought this one and a couple other items and basically I opened the package because it came so quickly that I was actually expecting other things and that's what I thought it was. It just was very, very fast delivery. So um, I've got to commend Hobbyso for uh, getting their packages out as quick as they are as all things considered with this lockdowns and other things that are happening um, in the areas. So uh, yeah, I was very impressed with how quickly the order came out and how quickly I was able to receive it. So that was awesome. So this is just the big box that it came in. I'm just going to just sort of show you that they uh, wrapped it up pretty well and all nice and covered. And inside the box, it was also bubble wrapped, which is really awesome. So they protected my purchase or my uh, diamond painting really, really well. So I was very pleased with that. This one was well wrapped. Um, there's also a couple other items in there, which um, yeah, I guess that was helped protect everything together. So it was really well packaged uh, pa parcel, basically. So very happy with that. So all nice bubbly wrap. So we're going to take this bubble wrap off and I'm going to show you what I bought. Because I'm really excited to get this one started. So I've decided to push it to the top of my to-do list as far as these ones are concerned. It is awesome. Now, I recently done an unboxing of some of these products um, a while ago on the channel. Let's just get this bubble wrap off because it's really noisy. Just take all that nice bubble wrap off. There's quite a lot of it there, but it's, it's rattling. Now, I did unbox some of these uh, type of products earlier on the channel, so uh, I might try and link that if I can. We'll see how we go. And um, you can find that also in... What do you call it? You can also find it in the playlist under Diamond Dots. I'll put everything um, Diamond Dots because this is another Diamond Dots wonderful product. So where's the, should have a symbol on here somewhere. Oh, there we are. Um, so I will put them all together in there. So if you want to check all those out, I'll have a look at the playlist and that will be there as well. All right. So recently I have been working on one of the previous unboxed items and I was enjoying it so much I said I'm definitely going to get more. I uh, wasn't sure how I was going to go because these ones are the pre-framed square diamond dots and I normally steer away from squares a lot because um, in the past I've had bad experiences basically and uh, yeah I thought diamond dots is a really great product if I'm going to be happy I'm sure I will be I uh, have a good experience uh, well I was hopeful I would have a good experience with them and I have so it's pretty darn good I'm very happy with the drills and the placing and I'm enjoying myself so whew, I decided I really like this product so I'm going to get another one so they are pre-framed and you can they seem to be black or white pre-frames so that's something you look at in the description I'm not too fast. I don't care if I get black, white, whatever. But um, yeah, that is something there. If you are particular about that sort of thing, if you prefer white or black, just keep a look in the description box. Now this one's quite big and you can see that they have the drills packed in the back here. And it's protecting the corners of the frame. It's bubble wrapped, uh, sorry, cling wrapped around. It's got a really nice big uh, illustrations and things on the back on everything there all the information you probably want and need or whatever. All right, so let's have a look at the one I chose. This is really lovely. So everything was, you know, pointing to what we should do. So I'm going to flip her over and you will be able to see what it is, roughly. So this is the front of your kit. It's got lots more information. Oops, it's shining the wrong way. Lots more um, information down the side, uh, sorry, off, off the front here, of the size, its name, and, and its level. So this is intermediate, it's autumn wolf. The design is 57 by 42, and the frame is 58.2 by 
by 43.2 centimeters. So it's a really good size frame. I keep trying to hold it the right way, but I keep bumping the stand. So I do apologize for that. Some of the really lovely features I find with the diamond dot squares is like they have this nice teal sort of color uh, logo. So, so you do identify the squares really easily. I hope that's coming up. Sort of hard my angles at the moment. There we go. That's a bit better. So you do have this very obvious different color and the squares logo. On the front here, I have my diamond area. So you can see is going to be a full coverage kit. And it also says full drill. So that's something you can, you know, see straight away uh, what sort of kit you're getting. And intermediate, so this is going to be gorgeous. So the frames are quite wide. And yeah, and it's nice firm board and there's no trouble drilling on these at all. Um, far as all your symbols and that you can see. This is quite a pretty little idea. This is how it blends across the packaging. I'm trying to show you, but I can't. This like little squares and that just indicate that it's squares. I quite like that. I think that's a really nice little design feature that goes right across the, the corner packaging onto the sheet. Without further ado, I think we've talked the package to death. Let's open her up. All right, so because it's already got a little bit of a start here, I won't need my scissors or anything. It's going to take this plastic film off. So how's everyone going? What are we working on, guys? Are you doing anything um, for the up and coming Halloween season? Maybe you're doing a Halloween theme. I've got some ordered, so I'll be sharing them soon. Yeah. All right, let's see. So each corner has your little cardboard covering. So I'll take all that off as we go. The drills will fall out now, so I'll pop them to the side, but we will check all that out. I promise you that. There's a little pre-design thing. And I think by memory, is it one of these ones? No, it must be this far one. Yeah. Uh, on the so end of this fella here, you've also got your image. Whoops, upside down for you guys. So you also got your image there. So that's kind of cool that they've got that on the side and barcode. So you could get creative and take this and pop it in some resin or something and make a little cover minder, you know, something like that if you've got some bits and pieces. And then you've got a cover minder that matches your diamond painting. Plastic be gone. Now to see the real kit, let's see how we're going. We've we got a little bit more height. We need a bit more height. I hope this is working. It's a bit hard to see with this sometimes. Okie dokie, let's do it. Right, now for the big reveal, we'll take off the card and oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy moly, that's so interesting. That is so cool. That is really different to what... As I say, trust the process, trust the process of these things. So this is pretty cool. This is a full drill um, coverage. It's got some really interesting stuff going on. Wow, those colors. So it's a wolf and you've got sort of your autumn theme because being autumn wolf going on lots of colors. Let's check it out. Nice thick um, plastic coverage too. Nice pour of glue. Lovely poured glue with diamond dots, of course. And this one feels really nice and smooth. Other than this sort of lifted bit of plastic here, which seems to be doing its own thing. And left a bit of uh, pattern in my glue, actually. It's just left a bit of a pattern 
high and low areas, but still very, very sticky. Okay, let's move that down. So that there has changed my glue underneath the, in that little bit of where the cover hasn't been placed properly. But uh, it is sticky underneath there, so that's the main thing. But this one is nice and um, you know, it feels pretty good. I can't feel any bumps. There's a little bump in my sweet perch down the bottom and I'm trying to figure out how to smooth it out because it's actually trapped between the board and the canvas and I don't want to pull this thing apart. So, you know, I'll work around that and hope for the best. Yeah. But this is pretty cool. Let's have a look. I'll take that out of there because it comes out of the back. Okay. So if you take this back cover off, you get your traditional really big pamphlet of instructions and that from Diamond Dots. Um, and I also have Diamond Dots Squares pamphlet. So where's that? Hopefully you can see that all right. Let's have a bit of a closer look, shall we? There we go, there's that one, and then of course we've got the other side. And if you'd like to read that, you're welcome to pause and check that out. Alright, and in the back of here, I also have like my little bits and pieces I need to hang my frame. So you do get your little eyelets and everything and screws, and your little bit of string. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to use these particular strings that come with it or I might actually use my hanging wire. I, you know, that's really a personal choice, but you do get everything in the kit to be able to hang your picture when you're finished. So that's important. So that's that card that was in the back and that was holding that um, information sheets and Whatever you call it, screws and things. Oh my goodness, I'm having a moment. All right, let's check out this beauty. Look at his face, he's so cute. So beautiful. Love the fact that his, all his eyes are nice and drilled up. We're going to have a bit of a look around the actual canvas for a bit. And I'm just like checking out like this whole dark colors and patterns and things like that of the actual symbols and this is all the leafy areas and things this just this the colors have just got me that's it really went wow when i um undid that top cover i was just amazed by that such a contrasting to what i you know you see on the image so i'm just going to peel back this and you can see for yourself the pattern that's sort of left on here. It is sticky, but as I say, it's just like it's low line now because, or lost its gloss or whatever it has happened because of that um, glue sitting the way it, well the cover I should say, sitting on the glue. But as I say, it's just like the level's a little bit off. That's very sticky. So it should be fine. It should be fine. We'll go and have a little bit closer now. And we can have a bit of a uh, look at some of the drill field. Very Some very typical uh, diamond dot symbols be seen here. I might just put that cover back down so I don't hash it up. There we go. Bang crash. Some very, uh, you know, recognisable diamond dot symbols coming through. They seem to like to reuse the symbols, which is fine with me. I like that unified uh, thing with kits, I suppose, if you like to say. And the plus size, I suppose, is that diamond dots are licensed artworks as well, so that's awesome. And don't ever run into issues that way. But yeah, it really is nicely printed. You 
wouldn't be able to use a light pad but I have found just an overhead light is more than um, adequate to be able to see my drills little bit dark areas here but they look dark for the uh, you know where I'm recording the camera but in just the light from the window that's all I've got today and I can see that quite well with the naked eye and I haven't put my glasses on yet so even with them they're even better look at that I can see them better when I put them on wonderful they're really nice they're really really nice and you've got it right up to the edge here it's it's uh you know like it's beaded right up to your frame edge ah trying to get the, get the plastic up a bit enough to show you that properly there we go so yeah you got right up to your edge there it's well bordered and it looks pretty even all around far as that's concerned too not too bad probably a little bit wider on the top there with how they put the canvas in but all color no white showing through all that you know to the back canvas so it is in there pretty darn good he is cute as a button all right let's just zoom up a bit if i can Ugh. away we go up we go All right, so this is also, I told you the size, so it's basically close to your 40 by 50s, wasn't it? A little bit bigger, sorry. Uh, 58 by 43 would, and a bit was your frame. So that's quite a decent size frame and canvas. So it's a lovely size. Not too big, but gonna look really, really effective. Looking on the inside of the canvas for those who might like to have a bit of a look at that and how it's all put together. It does come away from the wall. It's got quite a depth in there. You can sort of see how they fold and clamp it in. So it's, it's in there. It's not ain't going to come out. So you ain't going to be able to adjust it. And that's why I've got that issue with the other one. It's got the little bumpy bump underneath canvas there's no way I'm gonna even attempt to pull it apart so I won't get it back together with these type of pins that are locking it in place so that is kind of showing you the canvas I hope that's worked and I'm going to pop this aside for now and show you some drills so these are the pre-framed square kits so of course I will have square drills Let's go in a bit closer. The sun is shining. I would clean this table down. Golly. Give me sand off the glue. Righty-o. Is this going to be good? Let's do a little bit of lighting adjustment. I think it's not working the way it is. Just did some light adjustments. So hopefully this looks a little bit better. I think that that light was coming around the wrong way on the window. So... Yeah, hopefully I'm not too bad with that recording. I do apologise if that wasn't as um, as good as it could be. All right, let's have a look at the drills though. So these drills come with one of these little paper strips with all your symbols. So your symbols go across as such. I have a total of 34 colours by the looks of that. Now this is just a little piece of paper so what I do is I just get a bit of washi tape or whatever and I stick that to the top of my desk on when I'm working on whatever project and that's working for me. Uh, alternatively you could sticky tape them to you, cut them and sticky tape them to your containers these symbols or whatever you like but I still just use my one two three system and just have the chart there and just read it like that so it saves me a lot of kidding up time. That's everyone's preference so that's what I just do with mine said you can yeah cut them stick them on there whatever you like really so I'll just take that out and just show you see it's just a nice printed piece of card oh sorry paper really it's not even card uh, it is nice and clear I'll give it that 
and it's a decent enough size. Oops. Yeah, you're, you're decent enough size and you're definitely big enough uh, to be able to stick that onto your, and cut and stick that onto your containers if you so wish. Whatever you like. So don't lose that, whatever you do, because that's your guide to your kit. Um, you know, if you're doing something like this where you're doing an unboxing, either keep them with your drills or maybe stick, sticky tape to the back of your canvas somewhere, like if you're taking it out like I have and not planning to work on it straight away or whatever. Right, yo, look at this beautiful big bunch. Now these are squares that say Autumn Wolf. There we are. I love how they name, put those little names, stickers on there. It's so handy. We'll have a quick look at the kit that they provide. They're pretty much as a muchness um, with your squishy, this beautiful um, teal tray, or I think, I don't know what to call it. Um, sort of oceany blue, it's very pretty anyway. And that sort of keeps it all connected, the kit. You have a little wax tub. This one doesn't have the D&D &D logo on it, but others do. Sparkly single placer and nice water baggies. Always great to see that. So they are pretty simple, but very good little kits and all. Now, come here, please. Ah. Out of the bag. Wow, actually, it's got some weight to it. I'm not sure if there's going to be very exciting colours, but we'll soon find out, I guess. Now, usually they have these strips in ten, so I will start as best I can to the start, and we'll work through. So, so if you haven't seen diamond dot drills, uh, these ones have their own little number one, two, three. It's AO one basically, and then they have their own code for their drills. Uh, these codes, the diamond dot codes, the 8,000 numbers and stuff can be converted to DMC. So there is conversion charts out there if you would like to uh, keep your drills and store them and under a DMC system. So there you go. So basically they have beautiful uh, logo, of course, and they go forth there. So what I might do is just turn them over. We're going to start with number one. Beautiful square drills. We're going to try and see some of these beautiful colours, hopefully. Lots of browns and blacks and reds, I would assume. And of course, greys and things for the wolf. But the quality of these drills are just amazing me. I really, I don't know why, but yeah, I'm just absolutely spellbound at the moment with the square drills from Diamond Dots. I'm just loving it. And I didn't think I would enjoy square drills as much ever. Just, just didn't think so. But I am really enjoying these ones. So that's good. Good to um, step out of your comfort zone and have a go at things sometimes. You never know what you might find. Number 11. A lot of greys. By jingos. By the time I finish this one and, and sweet perch, I'll be over grey. I know that much. Some creamy colours, really beautiful, aren't they? Just nice and clean. Pretty darn good all round, really. What's in that one? Gee willis. 1920, that one's pretty well packed too. These aren't exactly the small bags either, they're quite a big bag. Okay, next. 21. Again, we continue with the browns. Ooh, a little bit of burgundy. Here we go. We actually got a little, little flash of colour. <laughs> so that will be going in those leaves and things. That'll be gorgeous. These bags are so full. Wow. They are really full. So two of those, 27s. Yep, that's a lot of that colour. Oh wow, something a little brighter, a beautiful pink. There we go, just some highlights I assume. So what number are that? 28. My goodness, it just keeps going, doesn't it? My word. <laughs> 28 today, 28 today. We need 
29. There we go. Here it is, number 29. Again, we continue with our browns. Browns and greys and browns and greys. All that ready burgundy pinks and stuff. Lovely. These are really pretty color, isn't it? Really rosy. Rosy pink nearly. I don't know. Well, and a very um well not quite white, I suppose, but very bright. There's your white. Ooh. It's not just white. Diddy. Uh winner winner chicken dinner. We have some white ABs. Oh how wonderful. I do love a few ABs. And when she actually carries it doesn't there we go. Look at those. Wow. It's hard to see the coating on the white sometimes because they all want to sit up the wrong way, but it is there and it's very sparkly and pretty. Well that's going to be a lovely highlight through this. 5001. Gotta love that. 5001 is number 34. So there we are looking for this white with a little line in our canvas. Let's get that back again because I'm curious. Where I'm going to see it pretty obviously in a lot of areas. There we go. So that beautiful AB. Here we go. We've got a nice big chunk of it here up in this tree. This is just behind the wolf's ear. A couple of highlights here through his face and over his eye. Again, I'm looking at it in this tree over here. So like the birch trees, they give a bit of a highlight. So it's going to be very sparkly in these sections. All these rosy burgundy colours are going to be in this area here. Mind my light, sorry about that. So all those beautiful rosy burgundy colours. Yeah, so you really get an idea of the placement of some of them drills now, don't you? Very nice. Looking forward to working this one soon as well. I think I'll have to bring some of these back as finished pieces to let you guys have a bit of a look. I really do. So there we go. That is pretty much the unboxing of that one. As I said, I got this one from Hobby, so uh, I assume there's other places you can get them from, but I just found them there and they were good price and they're like, well, when I say good price, these are not cheap. Beautiful, uh, but the diamond dot pre-framed kits, the squares, are definitely not, uh, what I call it, in the budget friendly uh, department they are a special treat or something like that or in this case where I've been able to get a very good sale I've gone and bought one so keep your eye out look around um, hobbyso.com for those in Australia anyway this will help I suppose uh, hobbyso.com I've found them on and got quite a few there there is other sites like Aussie trading I think it's called um, they also have some squares there. So yeah, I basically just Googled diamond dot squares and it came up with quite a few different things. I just had to search around a bit, but yeah, look around, wait for the specials, grab them then. That's probably, you know, that's what I do anyway. I want to buy a lot of things, but I wait, for, I hold off and get them then. So this is going to be beautiful. He's going to be really lovely and I've got a perfect spot picked out for him on the wall already so i better get cracking on this one all right guys i hope you enjoyed looking through this diamond dots experience unboxing experience thing <laughs> i don't know what it is but it has been really interesting i'm just curious how this whole process will come together i said it should be absolutely gorgeous gonna love that ab's love 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 that it's going to be gorgeous. I'm looking forward to working on it.
Until next time, I'll say thank you and be your life beautiful diamond art. Thank you everyone who watches my channel. I really appreciate that. Welcome to everyone who subscribed recently and welcome back all my old subscribers. You guys are all awesome and you make my day. Great to see you all here. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Toodles. Farewell. This is Diamond Art with Dell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care. Be well. Be safe.